How's it going guys? This is Jacob from Royal Masters. So, I got a new firmware update for the i7, S9, and M6, 3.2.4. Let's see which one's quicker, the Roblox S6 or the i7. Let's get started. Here we go, looks like the S6 is taking charge and the i7 is closing up on the S6 heels. But you may see that the i7 has a couple of trick up its sleeves, takes a quick sharp to the left and makes that corner and it's going down the hallway. Okay, so here at Roman Masters, I try to do unique videos to showcase any improvements like bug fixes, navigation improvements. And in this video, we're going to see if the i7 can be out the rubber rock in both getting to the target point and to the charger. And you may notice that the i7 only needs to bump into objects once or twice, whereas the Roblox S6 has elegant LiDAR navigation, which can avoid objects on the fly. But you can see that the i7 is outmaneuvering the S6 every time. So if you guys are looking for a robot vacuum that has this feature, being able to go to a certain room or a certain area, don't worry, both the i7 and Roblox S6 are great options. So once you select a target point, they're usually set to go to the shortest route, but that may not be the case, maybe blocked by furniture or maybe shut the door, so they have the ability to take an alternate path. It looks like the Roomba i7 got to the master bathroom first, let's see who can get back to the charger first. Okay, let's talk about some other improvements. This is just a minor update, 3.2.4, but one thing I noticed is the robot also has the ability to find its docking station if you physically move the robot, and I think it's a little bit quicker. It will actually bounce around between the walls a couple times and then it figures out where it's at so i believe this feature has been improved as well the roblox always have this ability so if you're looking for a robot where you can physically move it maybe you need to empty out its dustbin or maybe just want to carry the robot to a room to clean and then have the robot go back to its charger then the roblox s6 s5 s4 s5 max is your best bet the roblox also has another trick up its sleeve is you physically move the Charging base, once the map has been completed, it actually can update its charging base to the new location. This is very rare to robot vacuum, even with the smart mapping. The Roombas can't do it, the 360 can't do it, I believe the Lamba A1 can't do it. So this is a very unique feature to the Roblox. And the last thing that the Roblox can do is if you stop the job in midway as it's cleaning, you can physically move the robot to empty out its dustbin and push the go button and the robot will actually pick up exactly where it left off. Also has the ability to remember its charger, so technically it's remembering three different locations. Very impressive Roblox. Okay, it's very close. We'll see who gets to its charging base first. Okay, if I had to pick just one robot vacuum, either the i7 or s6, I will probably go with the i7, even though the s6 offers a lot of great features like the remote control feature or the area clean within a certain room. I think most of the people won't use those extra features, they will just use the spot clean, the area select, and the keep out zone. But both aren't bad choices. Okay, that was just a quick look at the improved software update 3.2.4. Uh, you may notice that the Roomba i7 definitely didn't bump into objects as much, it went straight to the target point, but very minor bumping. Now, granted, the Roblox S6 is the king, it has the ability to recognize objects in real time and avoid them, but the Roomba i7 is definitely closing up on the Roblox heels. Okay, so uh, one other thing with the update is the mapping, what it looks like it's been improved. According to this person, which I want to thank for letting me know about the update, said that they have a corridor that's kind of like 45 degrees, and now it's more of a smooth line instead of jagged edges. So if you experience that, that's basically what's in this new update as well. Okay, I'll keep you guys updated on these new updates as they come, and if I don't catch them, I appreciate if you guys let me know. Alright, have a great rest of your day.